Okay, so we're asked to solve this scenario here, and we're getting away from the more traditional kind of quadratic ones to more deeper thinking kind of scenarios. And what I notice here is I have three different angles here, but they all differ by two theta and plus uh, two theta in here. And so I'm trying to figure out how can I get them to all be the same angle. And what I recognize is that, well, this is cosine is going to be 3 theta minus 2 theta will get me theta. And then plus a cosine 3 theta. That's just as is. But this will be cosine 3 theta plus 2 theta. And so now there's some, I feel something good about the symmetry of this that I'm feeling like things are going to cancel and I'm going to be able to do something. And in doing that, I'm going to have to use my addition angles that I'm given from my formula booklet. So I'm applying these. And so it's going to be the cosine of 3 theta times the cosine of 2 theta plus the sine of 3 theta, the sine of 2 theta plus the cosine of 3 theta plus uh, cos 3 theta sine 3 theta so this one's plus so it's going to be minus a sine 3 theta sine 2 theta equals 0. Well this is convenient because the sines cancel away. So if I rewrite this now <coughs> I have those two the same 2 cosine 3 theta oh cosine 2 theta and plus the cosine 3 theta equal to 0 and so now I need to I recognize I have 3 thetas in common so I'm going to factor it out and I have a 2 cosine 2 theta plus 1 equal to 0. And so now I have cosine 3 theta and a cosine 2 theta equal to negative 1 half. Oh, cosine 3 theta equals 0. Now, my interval is from 0 to 2 pi. So if I consider for this particular one, 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to 2 pi, I have two thetas here. My interval is only for theta, so I'm going to multiply it by 2 here. And so 0 times 2. So 2 theta must go all the way up to 4 pi. Two revolutions of the circle. Similar on this side, I'm going to have theta go from 0 to 3 theta to 6 pi. So three revolutions of my circle I have to go through. So then 3 theta, thinking about cosine, I know cosine does this. And so these two are my zeros, which is pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, that's the first circle, 5 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2, the second, and then the third one will be 9 pi by 2 and 11 pi by 2. I'm just working on adding pi each time. And then I divide by 3. And so it's pi by 6, pi by 2, 5 pi by 6, 7 pi by 6, uh, 3 pi by 2, and finally 11 pi by 6. And note, these angles are all in the given interval from 0 to 2 pi, because theta has to be there. And when I do this trick of multiplying the interval by 3, it ensures that theta ends up being all the values I need. Going to 2 theta now, the same idea I'm going to do. I know for cosine, my reference angle is pi by 3. I'm in these two quadrants, so that's going to be, theta is going to be, 2 pi by 3, 4 pi by 3, 
and one more circle. Uh, ooh. This is 6 pi by 3, and so this will be 9 pi by 3. So one less is an 8 pi by 3. One more is a 10 pi by 3. Divide by 2. My final answer being pi by 3, 2 pi by 3, 4 pi by 3, and 5 pi by 3. So here we have 